All right, Shaq, talk to the people, man. Let them know what's getting ready to go down. What's good, y'all? I'm here today to give you six different back exercises that I personally use to get the width and thickness in my back. So right. without further ado, let's get to it. All right, let's get it. So the first exercise is gonna be similar to a close grip pull-up, but we're gonna do explosive. And if you're doing this exercise in your session, you wanna do it first, because that's when you have the most power and you won't waste enough energy, all right? So we're gonna grab close grip. The key here is you wanna hollow out your back, trying to arch it, tuck in your elbows, and pull as high as you can. So it could be your chin, it could be your chest, or it could be higher. So let's go for five of those, as high as you can. That's gonna work your explosiveness and build your overall lat spread, all right? Let's go to thickness on the dip, on the dip. Parallel bar. Dip bar. I'm out of breath right now, I'm tired. <laughs> so, next exercise, it's gotta be a row. We all know rows, but for me personally, I prefer underhanded. Yes, it's gonna work your biceps a little bit more, but when you have that underhand grip, it's gonna make it so that your elbows are more tucked in as much as possible. And that squeeze is gonna work more the lower areas of the lats. So, let's go for a quick 10. Nice and controlled. Hollow back. Up, down. Up, down. That's two, eight more. Three, four, five, Make sure to breathe and have the tempo. Seven, eight, nine, ten. That's gonna get you a thicker back. So now let's go back to the dip, not the dip bar, the pull up bar. I'm exhausted, but I'm still going. All right? So the next exercise is what I call a skin the cat pull up. Someone taught this to me, so. It's real simple, sort of like a back lever if anyone knows that transition. We are going into it, go as down as you can, go back up, and pull. We're gonna get you a good stretch on your lats. We're gonna go for low reps because whenever you're doing anything back lever related, it could be real strenuous on your tendons, your biceps, and your shoulders, and you don't wanna get injured, all right? So we're gonna just go for five. Nice and controlled. As down as you can. Up. That's one. Nice and controlled. Down. Up. It's two. Harder than it looks. Down. Take your time with this. It's not a race. It's how you build the muscle. Two, three, two. Down. Up. That's fine. Back to the parallel bars. This next exercise is gonna be a unilateral exercise, so it's the same thing, a row, we're going to do a pronated grip now, and we're going to do a one arm, so you want to get as comfortable with foot placement as you can, where you're not going to fall straight down, grab one hand, we're going to do three reps each side, because this is a hard exercise, and pull to the other shoulder, squeezing that back. One side, you gotta do this to the other. 
how you avoid imbalances. One, make sure you squeeze control, get that stretch. Two, three. I'm feeling it. That's the pull-up bar. Now, this exercise is definitely, definitely good for strengthening and building your lats. It's known as a front lever raise. I'll give you the harder variation first and then the easier. So if you're strong enough, you wanna grab the bar about shoulder width apart or closer. You don't wanna go too wide. Make sure you try to rip the bar apart to get that rotation. Really engage the lats. Rip it apart. Everything together. So so pointed. Try to slowly pull up. Straight arms. So we'll go for five of those. Make sure you breathe too. One, lower with control. Two, straight body. Three. Four. Five. This is a tough exercise. You gotta get your lats. Kind of like a lat pull down. Let's go work your core. Now for the easier variation. If you can't do that, bring your knees up to your chest, your stomach, and mimic the motion. Down control one. Two. Three. My back is tired, so it's working. Two more. Four. Five. The key is to always keep your arms locked out, never bend. Not at all. Now for the next and final exercise on the parallel bars. So, how I like to work my thickness the most on any row variation, I like to add an isometric. It's really going to target your back. So, simple hold at the top. If you can, grab closer grip. If that's too hard, then shoulder width. Hands a little bit over. Put your legs against the bar and hold that as high as you can for as long as you can. Breathe and hold. It's gonna engage everything. Lats, traps, belts. Don't really get that working. That's too hard. Go right in the row. But hold at the top. So this is easy for me, so I'm just gonna do 10 seconds. Let's do 10 seconds, three rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, hollow back. Seven, eight, nine, ten. That's one. Go for two more. Key here, like I said, hollow back. So you definitely want to arch your back. Kind of like you want to show that chest out. Get that chest to You never want to be pulling like this. You want to hollow it out. To get you the most engagement when you squeeze those lats. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. That's how you train your back. That's six exercises. All right, y'all. Thanks a lot, Shaq. Links to Shaq's YouTube and Instagram will be in the description box. Make y'all sure y'all subscribe to his YouTube page and follow him on Instagram. Thanks a lot, Shaq. More to come with Shaq. Get those games. All right.